Hi friends, welcome back. Welcome back to my channel and my kitchen. Today we're going to be doing another Disney recipe. It has been quite a while since I did one and I definitely miss doing them so I wanted to bring you one today. Today we're going to be making the, according to the recipe, the easiest Brazilian cheese bread ever. <laughs> um, if you, I'm sure if you have been in Epcot, you have tried the Brazilian um, cheese bread. Um, I had it during the food and wine festival this past, or well, actually last, the last festival in August of 2023. <laughs> and I really enjoyed it and I wanted to be able to make it here at home. However, um, I was speaking to a friend, Roberta, over at Medling World and who is from Brazil and she said getting the texture of the bread could be quite complicated and I um, started to research some of the recipes and she also sent me one and I found this one that said it was the easiest uh, so I thought you know what let's <laughs> let's give this one a Give this one a try and i'm just looking over at the recipe now and it is pretty easy the only thing that the only thing that i um may have a little issue with is the size of my blender i don't know why you know i'm thinking bread i'm thinking dough you know and kneading and stuff like that and apparently this is all the the um ingredients is blended is put together in a blender. So I'm curious about that and how that is gonna to work to become bread. <laughs> but we will see as we get going. So if you are new here, welcome. My name is Joanne. I am married. I have twin boys that are almost 12 years old and I do a little bit of everything here. Lifestyle, Disney recipes, regular recipes, baking, cooking, and uh, Disney and travel vlogs as well. I hope that you will enjoy today's video and if you do please consider becoming part of my family here and subscribe. If you are returning, welcome back my friends. Let's get cooking. Okay, again looking at the recipe, I wanted to point out some things that you know, uh, you may not have in your home unless you unless you bake um, unless you bake this uh, type of product, I guess uh, you would have it. Um, I've never had it. Uh, I've never used it before. It's tapioca flour. Um, this is what we're going to be using today. It is GMO free, gluten free and vegan. So um, you're going to need two cups of this. So I found it. I found it in my local supermarket. So I, um, I guess this is something um, I don't know, it says, okay, well, you know what? We're gonna get going. <laughs> that is one of the things you will need. You'll also need a cup of whole milk, one third cup of vegetable oil, a half a cup of shredded um, cheddar cheese, and a half a cup of shredded, not a half a cup, is it a half a cup? Yes, it is, a half a cup of mozzarella, garlic powder and salt, two eggs. Okay, so I'm gonna show you my blender, it is, small i don't know how we're going to do with this we'll see um i used to have a larger one to be quite honest i don't know if maybe i got rid of it somewhere along the line i have no idea where it is so let me kind of swerve the camera around so we can start making the cheese bread okay, my friend so we're going to go ahead preheat the oven to 400 degrees and then you're going to have your muffin tins which are already uh, taken mine out and sprayed it with uh, cooking spray or whatever it is you use to grease your pan is um, what you'll do first. Now we're going to go ahead, it just says add all the ingredients in the blender and then um, combine them all. We're going to cover and puree until smooth and frothy. I am a little worried because this isn't exactly a high-tech blender. I only use it for my protein drinks so we will see how it goes. Um, I may have to do this in a couple of um, couple of sessions, I guess, but we will see. So let's go ahead and add all the ingredients. Yeah, I don't think this is going to work for me in this one. I wish I knew where I put where I did put the. Um, I got to measure out the shredded mozzarella. Where I put the larger 
blender. Um, and if I still even have it, which, you know, who knows? <laughs> yes, I don't think this is all going to fit in here. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Okay, two eggs. Wow, everything is going in here, guys. <laughs> My fear is when I add the flour. That's gonna be, that is gonna be the kicker. Because I don't see, I'm just gonna do a little bit of salt. It is a teaspoon in the recipe, but I'm just gonna do a little bit and then it is a half a teaspoon in the, um, for the garlic, garlic powder. I just find this so odd, you know, I don't know, you know, not that I'm a big uh, chef here and I know what I'm doing, but okay. And this is going to be, um, what was it? Two cups. Okay. Yeah. I can see where this is going to be a problem right now. So um, let me measure this out and then we'll see what we could do. As you can see, this is already one cup of the flour uh, in here. I'm not sure if this is going to work and maybe I should just do a little at a time. Um, <laughs> I may take it out of here, hand mix it myself, and then pour a little bit back in. I'm not really sure. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how much more of this is going to go in there. I mean, if I can get it in, I'm going to get it in. <laughs> This is really pushing it. Well, this will be a first, a first on my channel, trying to shove all the ingredients in one thing. Okay, I'm kind of scared to do this, but let's give it a shot. Okay, here we go. Okay, so it did say to blend until it is um, smooth and frothy. So let's take a look and see did manage to get two cups in here, believe it or not. Why am I having such a hard time getting this off? Oh my God. Okay, it actually does look kind of frothy. Um, let me see if I can get this a little closer. I think I can mix it a little bit more as well. Not bad. So. I guess the instructions were right. <laughs> okay, let's mix this just a little bit longer um, and then we'll go ahead and put them in the muffin tin. Okay, so here's the deal. <laughs> I'm not sure. It says to spoon it into the muffin tins about three quarters full. I'm not sure is it supposed to be liquidy or thicker, but you know what? Um, I guess we're not going to know until we try it. So let's just go ahead and I'm going to take this off here and we will give it a try. Um, as far as spooning it in, I don't know. Um, all right, let me get a spoon. I went and I did one just because I wanted to see what it would look like. <laughs> I don't know. Um, your guess is good as mine if this is correct or not, but we're going to go ahead. We're going to give it a try and um, we'll see how it comes out. It's just, I can't imagine bread being formed from this, but you never know. Um, this is supposed to be the easiest recipe. We will see. <laughs> okay, fill the buffet tins. I tried to make them as even as possible. I don't think I did with this one at least. These two I'm a little, <laughs> they look a little less full, but we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna pop this in the oven. It was already been uh, preheated to 400 degrees and these are gonna bake undisturbed for 19 to 20 minutes until golden and puffed. So let's hope, um, let's hope that's how they look. I'm gonna go ahead, I'll pop them in the oven and I'll show you what they look like when they come. Okay, I just took them out of the oven let them cool for a little bit. Um, <laughs> I think they were 
were supposed to be a little more round and to be honest with you I think they should have been smaller I'm not quite sure um, I'm gonna take a look at the recipe that I used and see if they had any kind of video or anything just so I can compare but they do smell very good I'm gonna go ahead I am gonna open one and try one for you um, so we could see what it looks like okay, they are still kind of warm I'm just gonna See if I can, oh, very nice. <laughs> okay, let's take a, take a bite. Oh. These are good, these are very good. Even though I don't know if these are quite the way they're supposed to look, um, I feel like they're supposed to be more full um, they taste very good. I really do like them. Very cheesy. Mm. Okay, so that is it, my friends. The easiest Brazilian cheese bread recipe I could find and I can make. <laughs> I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. And if you have, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I have more Disney recipes coming up and I don't want you to miss any. And I hope that you've enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up and I will see you next week. Thank you for watching.